Hello and welcome to this review of Holly Hill Farm Eggnog, a blend of white wine, egg yolk, and festive spices, fine and finest cream, a traditional wine specialty. So this is one of those things they sell at Aldi, although I don't think it's an Aldi brand, it just happens to be sold there. It's a, a wine, because they don't sell liquor in the United States, Aldi, in Europe they do, so they sell wine based. But it says grape wine with grain neutral spirits and natural flavors, so it, it does contain liquor, all right? <clears throat> now, the Mac and, it says imported by Mac and Schul Incorporated, but on the Mac and Schul website, they're saying it's from Germany. But this one comes from the Netherlands, and it's a company called Team Products. Contains eggs and contains milk, 13.9% alcohol. Uh, it doesn't say anything about coloring. Um, if you look on the Team products website they are a company that makes all kind of liquor and liqueurs and they don't make their own brands they just are contract producer they produce and there's a section you know why you should choose them to make your brand somebody's cutting some wood out there all right uh they say drink this now the, all the website says drink this at room temperature or heated but i like my eggnogs to be chilled that's just the way I like them chilled so oh well personal preference I know a lot of people like them warmed on the stove so it's very milky and eggy all right there is one video review for this oh, I think it's one guy's thoughts who did it I'm gonna look at his video for it there's some alcohol legs for sure you can smell the spices it's spiced up but I wouldn't say overly so. Eggs and milk, I suppose you get that. It's clearing up outside. And I'm sorry about the saw, but I can't tell people not to do their woodworking, you know. Taste, cheers. Tastes like eggnog. Are they using a wine that's probably mostly neutral in flavor, the grape wine and the neutral spirits? Yes, more, more than likely. I think they do that with most of the eggnogs, you know, the pre-packaged uh, spiked eggnogs. They're trying to use a neutral brandy or a neutral flavored rum or a neutral flavored blended whiskey because they want the flavor, that's just the alcohol base, they want the flavor to come from the eggs and the milk and especially the spices and I suppose that makes sense. Seven dollars ninety nine cents for this um, regular size bottle, and that's a great price this day and age for eggnog. So uh, you might find Zachariah Harris eggnog from Kentucky for seven ninety nine. That's about the cheapest one you'll find, and I've never had Zachariah Harris uh, straight Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Although I know that a lot of people do drink that, but anyway, and that's from Buffalo Trace. Uh, if you find Benchmark, you're probably paying $9.99, probably a higher grade product. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, Holly Hill Farms eggnog. Uh, some websites are saying from France. Some are saying from Germany. This bottle saying from the Netherlands. Probably sourced from all three countries, depending on what deal they're making or who's got what available that month. So um, you're going to see it around November, December, though, in the store. So good product um, uh, actually a, a, an excellent product I'm gonna go with 93 out of 100 9.3 out of 10 an enjoyable product and let's put a little cinnamon in it they're showing cinnamon sticks uh, on the, on the uh, bottle bottle okay so well predictably it adds a little cinnamon it enhances it in fact so 9.3 out of 10, a most excellent wine specialty eggnog, and they sell those at Trader Joe's also. Of course, they're owned by Aldi. But um, I would recommend them. I wouldn't shy away just because it's wine-based, because I don't think the base... Now, now with the compressed air, he's always got to brush himself off with that. I don't think the base probably matters much. It's what you're adding to the base...
it's probably what you're adding to the base that, that matters to a large extent. But I'm sure, you know, why not use, I mean, yes, you could get some quality whiskey uh, eggnog, but some of those might run you $20 a bottle. Huh. They got the new screwball peanut butter whiskey eggnog. That's $18.99, so I've been reluctant to buy it. We'll see if somebody runs a sale on it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go, go to the Netherlands and take a distillery tour.